Tokyo scientists now say that they have the solution to solid state batteries. They say this is what has been holding them back. And I'm kind of curious, did Toyota call them and say, hey, can you give us this? This will give us the mythical solid state batteries that we've been promising the market since 2014. If they haven't already, maybe they should. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, yeah, Toyota have been promising. They've been promising that their EVs would have solid state batteries since 2014, 15, around about there. They said in 2015 that they had a working prototype. It was amazing. It would be in their EVs within a few years. They kept on promising and promising. Uh, the media has said nothing about this, but I'm, I'm, I'm curious what this solution was. So I had a look at it. These researchers from Tokyo University say that this is what has been holding back solid state batteries. Now, to be honest, I don't fully understand the details of this technology, but here's what they say. Tokyo University of Science researchers demonstrated unprecedented control of response speed by over two orders of magnitude in a solid state battery just recently. Now, this is a major stepping stone, they say, towards realization of commercial solid state batteries. Solid state batteries, high surface resistance, causes these batteries to have low output, limiting their applications. The researchers have employed a novel technique to investigate and modulate electric double layer dynamics at the solid state electrolyte interface. The achievement is a carrier modulation and improved switching response speed control in these batteries. The reporting paper detailing their technique was published in volume 31 of Materials Today Physics only days ago. The search for clean energy and carbon neutrality by using solid state lithium ion batteries, as has been promised by the industry now for many years, offers enormous promise. I mean, realistically, people believe that the solution to electrifying planes, the solution to having battery packs that can charge in less than five minutes and give you more than a thousand miles of range. However, commercial application of solid state batteries is facing a bottleneck. And this is what researchers say is preventing their widespread use today. The exact mechanism of this surface resistance has been so far unknown. Researchers have alluded to it as a phenomenon called the electric double layer, or EDL. This is the effect seen in colloidal substances, which are microscopic dispersions of one kind of particle in another substance. The EDL effect occurs when colloidal particles gain negative electric charge by absorbing the negatively charged ions of the dispersion medium on their surface. Dr. Toru Higuchi, professor from the Tokyo University of Science, said, this occurs at the solid state electrolyte interface, posing a problem in all solid state lithium batteries. And it's the key reason you don't have a solid state battery in your EV today. Dr. Higuchi, along with his colleagues from the National Institute of Materials Science of Japan, have devised a novel technique to evaluate the EDL effect at this solid electrolyte interface. The researchers employed an all solid state hydrogen terminated diamond or a H-diamond based EDL transistor. This conducts Hall measurements and pulse response measurements that determine EDL charging characteristics. By inserting a nanometer thick lithium niobate or lithium phosphate layer between the H-diamond and lithium solid electrolyte, the team can investigate the electrical response of the EDL effect at the interface between these two layers and work out what's actually going on, what the problem is being caused by. Now the electrolyte's composition influences the EDL effect in a small region around the electrolyte interface. And the EDL effect was reduced when a certain electrolyte was introduced as an interlayer between the electrode solid electrolyte interface. EDL Capacitance for the lithium phosphate H-diamond interface was much higher compared to the lithium niobate H-diamond interface. In other words, it appears as though that phosphate, or to some degree, the technology in a lithium-ion phosphate battery, could have been 
or potentially is the solution to solid state batteries. The team's article explains how they improve the switching response time for charging ASS EDLs. They said, the EDL has been shown to influence switching properties. So we considered that the switching response time for charging ASS EDLs could be greatly improved by controlling the capacitance of the EDL. We use the non-ion permeable property of a diamond in the electron layer of the held of the field effect transistor and combine it with various lithium conductors. The interlayer accelerated and decelerated the EDL charging speed. The electrical response time of the EDLT was highly variable. It ranged from around 60 milliseconds at low speed switching for lithium phosphate HDMI interface to about 280 microseconds high speed switching for lithium niobate H-diamond interface. The team exhibited control over the EDL charging speed for over two orders of magnitude, which was, they say, the solution to the problem. To summarize, the researchers were able to achieve carrier modulation in all solid state devices, improving their charging characteristics. They said, these results from our research on the lithium ion conductive layer are important to improving the interface resistance and may lead to the realization of all solid state batteries with excellent charge discharge characteristics in the future. We believe this is the solution the industry has been looking for. Maybe it is. All in all so far, this is a major stepping stone towards controlling the interface resistance of solid state batteries. Now this catalyzes their feasibility for many applications and may just make them a real thing within the next couple of years. Now, regardless of whether or not that actually happens, it, this new research will definitely help design better solid electrolyte based devices or better solid state batteries, a class of gadgets that also includes neuromorphic devices. The solid state design has very attractive characteristics incredible charging speed, insane energy density. But for now, the architecture design isn't quite cooperating the way that battery companies wanted to or initially expected it to. It sounds like the team has revealed that the electrodes cover themselves, thus restricting the flow and in turn, the battery's actual real world power. Now that these researchers have uncovered the problems, it means that the challenges can be defined and thanks to this team's efforts, we may see solid state batteries commercialized very soon. I mean, if you don't know the solution to a problem, you can't work out the answer, right? Or if you don't even know what the problem is, you can't work out the solution. But now that the problem has been defined, it appears as those solutions may be actually much simpler than what we thought. Solid state batteries may not be imminent, but clearly they are inevitable and this it's just one solution on the way towards commercialization of this type of battery. By the end of the decade, I'm pretty confident we're going to see solid state batteries in their most ideal form in electric cars, but they won't be cheap. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye bye.